Oh, oh no way! Well, look what we have here! A beautiful, beautiful Eastern mud snake! Oh! Oh, yes! Mud snakes are secretive and rarely seen semi-aquatic snakes native to the southeastern United States. Now, these animals spend the majority of their time deep in muddy, mucky water searching for their favorite prey. They're not often encountered, so these were at the bottom of my list of species I thought I might run into while in southern Florida. But little did I know that the beautiful full moon night had a surprise in store for me. Let's check out just what happened the other night in Southern Florida. Okay, everybody, I'm super, super excited because we just experienced an experience of a lifetime. We came out to this beautiful stretch of road with not much in our hearts in terms of hope and in terms of expectation. However, our hopes and expectations were not only met, but they, but what truly happened far exceeded our level of hope and expectation. Something occurred quite miraculous, quite fantastic, and I would like to share it with you now. So let's take a look at what happened that caused our hopes and expectations to be shattered and rebuilt as a masterpiece. Let's check it out. Now, the best time to look for snakes generally is at night, as most species are nocturnal. So, we set out in the car to see if we could find any snakes on the road. After a handful of species that didn't quite catch my fancy, we pulled up on something that we did not expect. Let's take a look at my reaction and Emilio's reaction when we cruise the coolest possible snake we could have ever found. Gosh! Oh, oh no way! <laughs> oh, beautiful Easter we got a mud video. snake! Yeah! That's a mud snake! Woo! Yeah! About. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Do they bite? Uh, they're, really, they're really not very defensively... Uh, I can't talk. <laughs> they they usually don't defensively. Okay, we got our video, Dad. Ninety nine. Oh yes. Okay. It's musky, oh. but I don't care. Oh my gosh. No, this is dirt, by the way. He's not poop. Oh, dude, dude. Oh yes, that's perfect. Oh, and it's like it's a perfect size yeah, too. Yeah. Like it's not faded or anything. That's a nice Ew. Eastern mud. We were just talking about it. Oh, I, I was like, I was like, I just said, like, okay, we're not gonna get our hopes up for that. Yeah, like, for there's that. no way. Boom. Oh, I was so worried it was dead yo, on the road yo, too. Yo, yo, yo. We're, gonna, we're gonna rub it in the brothers. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! Okay, guys, check out what we just cruised. Uh, we're out here in beautiful, beautiful Southern Florida, and we were literally just yeah, we joking. Were just mentioning. We it. were like. <laughs> we were looking for cotton mouths and we were like, maybe we'll see a python. Well, and they were like, hey, I guess there could be mud snakes out here too. But and we nah. were like, nah, let's not even get our hopes up for that because that is just so yeah. unlikely. It's not even the right time of year. Yeah, like there's a full moon, there's no clouds, <laughs> it's kind of cold. Well, look what we have here a beautiful, beautiful Eastern mud snake. Oh, a beautiful snake. Look at those scales, the underbelly. A glossy, glorious, glorious animal. Now, these are and have been at the top of my list of species of snakes to encounter because this is actually my first eastern mud snake. Same one for me. I've and not only that, my first mud snake ever. We have the western mud snake in my home state of Texas, uh, but I've not been able to find that. And why might that be? Maybe because you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's, it's a special moment. But yeah. typically, these snakes are super secretive. They're feeding almost entirely, if not completely, on aquatic salamanders like sirens and amphiuma. 
Now, the problem with feeding exclusively on those salamanders is that those salamanders are incredibly cryptic. They spend all their time in the murky, muddy, silty bottoms of swamps and lakes and things like that. And that's where these snakes are going to follow after them. So these animals, even though they've got these beautiful, beautiful colors, are hidden in the muck and the, in the mud looking for those salamanders for most of the year. Now, every once in a while, you can get lucky, just like tonight, Out finding on one of these snakes moving perhaps to a new area to hunt for these super cryptic salamanders. Yeah. Now, these snakes are completely harmless. No venom at all, anything. The only real defense they're gonna have is a tiny, tiny spur at the tip of their tail. Now, this spur, as I mentioned, completely harmless. It doesn't have venom, it doesn't do anything, but it gave rise to a myth that these snakes will form like a circle, like a wheel, and roll down the hill and then attack would be predators with the spike, which is complete nonsense. But it makes for an interesting story. It definitely makes for an interesting story. Oh my gosh. We are having so much fun, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, man. We, we, we did not have high hopes for coming out. We were just like, we don't have anything else to do. We're hoping to find some snakes. And I could not imagine a better snake and better company to enjoy on this night. Yeah, before this, we had only seen one snake alive and it was just a water snake and a couple dead ones, but this, is easily the crowning jewel of what we found tonight. Absolutely, these are such gorgeous snakes. And as you can see, this animal's not tried to bite us not once. Much like the water snakes, this main mode of defense is gonna be musking. They're gonna uh, squirt that yeah. glorious smelling Ooh. musk all over your hands and leave you with just a lingering taste of this beautiful snake's beauty in your mouth and your nose. Oh, they're such cool snakes. We're gonna try and get some amazing shots of this beautiful, beautiful serpent so that you can see all these absolutely amazing attributes uh, that we're describing to you uh, while half lit on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, there's nowhere around, miles. But perfect, no perfect mud snake habitat. Oh, such beautiful, beautiful snakes. Now, in my opinion, these have got to be some of the most beautiful snakes in North America, perhaps even the world. There's not much that can beat out the striking pairing of black and red, in my opinion, and that beautiful, glossy, iridescent finish on these scales is just immaculate. This was my first mud snake encounter, and I am so happy we had such a beautiful and striking specimen. This was really the perfect snake for this episode, and I am just so excited to finally check off Eastern Mud Snake from my list. Oh my gosh, just take a look at this animal. I'm so happy to have found this. This is so cool. I mean, I could not imagine a cooler snake to find. Like, this was literally like, I was like, I didn't even want to let myself me, even me think either. about dude, it. Dude, I, I was thinking, you know, oh, a python or something, but no. I, didn't, I didn't even consider the possibility. No, and, and when we stopped, when we were like, we were like, oh, there's a snake on the road. No, and I saw it, I'm like, and I was like, like there's a flash of red yeah. on the bottom. And we were like, no, no, no way, no way. And then, it wasn't moving, man. And we're just and like, we're like, did it get hit on the road? Is it dead? Like, did we go for a hundred to zero you know it's like the coolest thing ever oh, oh it got hit by a car you know and then and then it, was it like coiled a, up it did that defensive, defensive posture it's like let's go oh it's a perfect snake a perfect snake and look at that not a snake interested in biting or, or hurting not anything this is a completely placid snake very docile species hasn't tried to strike either of us not once just tried to intimidate us and now that it knows that we're not going to eat it it's uh, just chilling yeah it's just hanging out oh Beautiful, beautiful snake. Well, we're gonna try and get some amazing footage because obviously there's some stunning colors on this animal that I wanna show you all at home. Now, I don't know about you at home, but for me, it can be very difficult to picture these placid, docile snakes as voracious hunters capable of subduing incredibly difficult, slimy salamander prey. I would give almost anything to see a showdown between one of these mud snakes and a hefty sized amphiuma. Now like most snakes, these snakes have to be equipped with razor sharp hook like teeth to help grasp on to slimy slick prey 
underwater. Remember, these animals are going about their lives primarily with an aquatic lifestyle, which means they're hunting these salamanders on their own turf. So that glossy, smooth, scale finish helps them to slide through the leaf litter in the mud after these salamanders where the intense showdowns happen in the mud and the muck. Well, I think we can call tonight a success and it's still pretty early. We Definitely. were able to find this beautiful, beautiful Eastern mud snake. I'm hoping that we got some amazing footage of this animal to show you all at home. And I am just so happy that we were able to find such a stunning and beautiful snake. So we've had our fun with this beautiful snake. Mm, a lovely musky kiss for a lovely musky queen and we are gonna let her get on her way. So we're getting ready to release this beauty, but thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Of course, subscribe to Emilio over at Animal Encounters. Animal Encounters, I'll attach his channel in the description below, as well as potentially his mud snake video, depending on when they come out. If not, if we'll mine see, comes we'll out <laughs> first, I will attach his when it does come out. So if you're seeing this too far, too close in the future, and it's not out yet, don't worry, because eventually, if it you get be. further into the future, it will become available. Or mine will be out first, we'll see. Or his will be, and, and then, I don't know what you're gonna do. So, thanks so much for watching. We're gonna let this beauty get on by on her own way, and uh, I'll film that as, her, as she slithers away. But thanks so much, Emilio, for an amazing spot that turned up such an amazing snake. Yeah. So, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bueno, muchachos, hasta la próxima. All right, we've taken this beauty off the road. She's ready to get on her own way. Beautiful little riverbank here, or I should say kind of ditch with a lot of mud and water, but that's perfect for hunting aquatic salamanders. Safely removed off the road, unharmed, beautiful Eastern mud snake.